बट लेकिन किस टेम्परेचर तक हीट कर सकते हैं वाटर को बताइए टेल मी गई टिल वॉट टेम्परेचर कैन यू हीट वाटर टिल वॉट टेम्परेचर कैन यू हीट वाटर अलीना वेन इज योर एग्जाम सो इट स्टार्टिंग ऑन एटीन एटीन ऑफ वॉट सेप्टेम्बर नहीं करके रिडॉक्स बोल रहे हैं आप ओके फाइन 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 ठीक है चलिए एक बार याद दिलाते रहिएगा लेकिन हमको ठीक है इसी तरह मैसेज कर दिया कीजिएगा इन एवरी लेक्चर ओके अली ना ओके ठीक है तो मैक्सिमम हीटेड वॉटर दैट यू कैन हैव इज हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस सो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट दीट कैपेसिटी ऑफ सब्सटेंस हीट कैपेसिटी ऑफ सब्सटेंस यानी कि हाउ मच हीट अ पर्टिकुलर सब्सटेंस कैन होल्ड हाउ मच हीट अ पर्टिकुलर सब्सटेंस कैन होल्ड अब उसमें अगर हम देखें एक चीज को तो वी कैन डिटरमाइन द हीट कैपेसिटी फ्रॉम द चेंज इन टेम्परेचर फ्रॉम विद द चेंज इन टेम्परेचर इफ वी गिव अ लॉट ऑफ हीट एंड द टेम्परेचर इंक्रीज ओनली लिटिल बिट दैट मीन्स इट हैज ह्यूज हीट कैपेसिटी समझ मारी है ना Does it make sense? Yes, please tell me, guys. For example, अच्छा एक बार बताइए. If I talk about the heat, कि कितना heat वो ले सकते हैं आपने तरफ. And for example, if I have uh, two liters of water, and if I have two thousand liters of water, which can hold more heat? Which can hold more heat? जोर से बोलिए, please, Zainab. 2000 liters. I hope everyone will agree that 2000 liters of water can hold more heat. For example, man, man, like two liter of water. Both of them are at 100 degrees Celsius. But two liter water will cool down very much easily rather than 2000 liter of water. Does it make sense? Yes or no? Please tell me, guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. That means 2000 liter of water can hold more heat. Also, also, please try to understand. If I have two liters of water, something like this. If I have 2000 liters of water, something like this. Then, if I want to change the temperature, for example, right now it is twenty-five degrees Celsius, and I want to change it to twenty-six degrees Celsius, I want to change it to twenty-six degrees Celsius. Similarly, I have twenty-five degrees Celsius here, two thousand liters of water, and twenty-six degrees Celsius here. That is only what that two one degree change. Same change in temperature. The temperature is changing from. Tell me, temperature is changing from twenty-five to. Bolo, twenty-five to. 26 in both the cases in both the cases i want to change the temperature from 25 degrees celsius to 26 degrees celsius but i hope you understand the 2000 liter water will take more heat i will have to heat the water or the container which is having 2000 liters of water for more time to get a 1 degree change in temperature does it make sense yes or no please tell me yes sir yes sir okay तो होपफुली आपको अब थोड़ा सा क्वालिटेटिवली आइडिया लग गया होगा यू मस्ट नाउ अंडरस्टैंड लाइक क्वालिटेटिवली लाइक यू हैव नाउ सम कंसेप्ट अबाउट ओके फाइन सम हीट कैन बी हेल्ड बाय अ सब्सटेंस है ना नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डू इन द गो टू द क्वांटिटेटिव एनालिसिस डूइंग द मैथ्स ठीक है सो द टॉपिक इज हीट कैपेसिटी टॉपिक इज हीट कैपेसिटी so i can say for a particular substance for a particular substance the amount of heat you give will be proportional to the change in temperature if the temperature has large change that means we have given more heat if the temperature has changed only slightly then means that means we have given less amount of heat does it make sense yes or no please tell me are ha ya na bolo bhai yes Nain. Yes, just please. Yes, sir. No, sir. Don't write now. I will give you time to write. Please don't write. Keep your mind on and please answer me. 
Now, when we want to remove the proportionality sign, I will have to give a proportionality constant. We call it C delta T. C delta T. Now, if I want to define C, if I want to define C, I can say C it is equal to Q upon delta T. Q upon delta T. Achha, one thing about delta T is very important. Please see here, don't write. Please see here, don't write. If we have, let us suppose if we have, if we have 298 Kelvin and I go to 300 Kelvin. What is the delta T? Tell me, guys. What is the change in temperature? Bolo. Jaldi bolo. Hai. Ay, itta sota hai. What is the change in temperature? Hi, hi. 290 Two Kelvin. Kelvin. Yare, bhai. Ha, very good. 2 Kelvin. Aja, 298 Kelvin will correspond to 25 degrees Celsius. Yes, so no, please tell me. Are, hi, Ana. Hmm. Keep your mics on. Yes, correct. Hi, Ana. Jaldi bolo. Jobita, Jasmine, Sabiha, Shaima, Zainab. Keep your mics on. Jaldi. Jitna jaldi samajhe ko jaldi aayega. 298 Kelvin will correspond to 25 degrees Celsius. Yes or no? Yes or no? Tell me, guys. Alina, hmm. Ali, Jasmine. Yes. yes. So 300 degrees, 300 Kelvin. Mic on, mic on, mic on. 300 Kelvin will correspond to how much? 300 Kelvin. Uh, Zor say 300 Kelvin will correspond to how much degree Celsius? Karo, karo, karo. Jali, karo, jali, karo. Okay. Got it? Yes or no? Yes or no? Got it? 300 Kelvin will correspond to what temperature? Degree Celsius. What degree Celsius? Good me, Oh my God. 300 Kelvin. Convert to degree Celsius. 300 Kelvin to degree Celsius. 27. 27 degree Celsius. What is the change in temperature? Bolo, what is the change? Yes. Good. That means that means it doesn't matter in Kelvin or degree Celsius what is the temperature. The delta T will be same for Kelvin as for degree Celsius. Does it make sense? Yes, please tell me. Agar delta T is equal to, let us suppose, let us suppose 2 Kelvin, then please don't write delta T is, is equal to 273 plus 2 degree Celsius. Yes. Wait a second. Agar it is degree Celsius. So, ye mat karne lagega. Hai? This is wrong. Delta T will be same for Kelvin and degree Celsius. Does it make sense? Yes, no. Yaad rahega sabko hai na? Aray bolo. Yes, sir. Now we are going to define C. What is C? C is called heat capacity. Bola jata hai. C, C. We define heat capacity as C, C. Heat capacity is the heat required by the system. to increase the temperature of the system by 1 degree Celsius or 1 Kelvin. Okay? Yani ki, basic hai, bahut basic hai. Is to delta T ko kya kar diye? 1 Kelvin kar diye. Delta T is equal to 1 Kelvin. Then C will be equal to Q. So this is how we define all the constants. Right? Please remember this funda. Ki wherever the C is present, wherever the constant is present, on the same side, whatever the variable is, one kar yeah. So delta T is 1, then C will be equal to Q. So we say that heat capacity is the heat required to change the temperature by 1 Kelvin or 1 degree Celsius. Okay? From the formula itself, you can remember. Copy this down, raise your hand once you're done.
वेटिंग फॉर अली जो बेटा जसलीन सबीहा Waiting for Ali and Jobita. Waiting for Jobita. Okay. Now there are two types of heat capacity that we have to learn. When we measure the heat capacity, when we measure the heat capacity. Per gram, heat capacity per gram. That means if I have one gram of, जान से सुनते रहिएगा ठीक है ना? If I have one gram of substance and I want to increase the temperature by one degree Celsius or one Kelvin, then how much heat do I need to give it? ठीक है? And the other one is per mole. That if I have one mole of substance, then how much heat do I need to give? Fine. चलिए जान से सुनिएगा जरा. So basically, this is a specific heat capacity. And this is molar heat capacity. Specific heat capacity will be It is the heat capacity divided by mass. That means per gram, how much heat do we need to give in order to increase the well, the heat capacity per gram heat capacity per gram now what is heat capacity it is equal to q upon delta t into mass this will be in grams this is specific heat capacity similarly molar heat capacity kya it is denoted by cm it is equal to the heat capacity divided by per mole per mole kar lena isko per mole that is molar heat capacity It will be equal to Q upon delta T in mole. This is molar heat capacity. For each mole, I want. अब देखिए इसको ना fundamentally थोड़ा समझने की कोशिश कीजिए. It tells what specific heat capacity अगर आपको दिया हो, then what does it mean? It tells about tells about amount of heat required. Needed heat needed to increase the temperature of one gram of substance. One gram of substance by one degree Celsius, yeah, one Kelvin. Same thing. And similarly, this. Like if you have been given specific heat capacity, so वो क्या बताना चाह रहा है? Like what it is going to tell you? वो हम लिख रहे हैं यहाँ पे, ठीक है? And here you can do it for one mole. Of one mole of substance by one degree Celsius, okay. So by the way, what the units? Look here, heat ki unit to jaagi unit. By the way, unit also na it tells a lot of things. For example, heat ke liye joule per kelvin per gram. The same thing na. The amount of heat needed in the numerator. To increase the temperature by one kelvin of one gram substance, and here the unit will become what will be the unit, guys? For the mind, let me tell you what will be the unit. Anji, what will be the unit?
हाय हाय बोलो यार दिमाग लगाओ भाई ऐसे बैठने के लिए आए हैं तो फिर क्यों ही पढ़ रहे हैं साइंस आप लोग वॉट विल बी दूनिट ये शाइमा वेरी गुड करेक्ट ट्राई नहीं कर रहा है भाई बेकार है क्यों आप लोग ऐसे हो गए हैं बिल्कुल एक दो बच्चों के अलावा किसी को कुछ समझ में नहीं आ रहा है क्या अरे बोलो एक बार अली यार मतलब ये तो दिमाग खराब हो जाएगा मेरा तो साल भर बहाने में आप लोगों को फिर एक दो बच्चा बस जवाब दे रहा है आप लोग नहीं आ रहा है अलीना नहीं आ रहा है जवाब माइकॉन ऑल ऑफ यू की फिर माइकॉन जो माइकॉन नहीं करेगा करेंगे अभी उसको हम तो साल भर ऐसे पढ़ा नहीं पाएंगे कीपर ऑल ऑफ यू गैस की फिर माइकॉन किसी को प्रॉब्लम है तो चैट में बताएं इफ यू हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम इन टर्निंग द माइकॉन प्लीज लेट मी इन द चैट अदरवाइज आउट ऑफ द क्लास आई कैन नॉट टीच लाइक दिस होल ईयर अली और माइक इज नॉट ऑन Ali, your mic is not on. Please let me know if there is any reason. अरे अब तो क्या हो जाएगा माइक ऑन तो कीजिए आप कीप योर माइक ऑन गाइज जूम हैज अ वेरी गुड नॉइस कैंसिलेशन आई कैन नॉट हियर एनी थिंग इन द बैकग्राउंड अली टर्न योर माइक ऑन क्विकली अरे यू टर्न योर माइक ऑन ना भाई नहीं मान रहे हैं आप टर्न योर माइक ऑन ना अगर आवाज आ रही होगी हम खुद बंद करा देंगे आपका अब माइक ऑन कीजिए अली आवाज समझ में नहीं आ रहा आपको You turn your mic on. If there will be any noise, I will tell you to turn your mic on. Don't worry. But mic on करो आप. कहाँ mic on है भाई आपका? Still अभी भी mic on नहीं. Am I audible, guys? Yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. बाकी लोग का नहीं आवाज आ रही है. Am I audible? Yes, sir. What is the unit of specific heat capacity? Joule से बोलिए यार इतना. Joule Kelvin per gram. एक बच्चे को दिख रहा है और किसी को दिख नहीं रहा है क्या? अरे भाई यार से जो बेटा है माई ऑडेबल यस सर जसलीन यस सर कितना टाइम लगता है जवाब देने में यार आप लोगों सभी हाँ yes, Zainab. Zainab, am I audible? Yes, sir. Alina. Yes, sir. Shaima. Yes, sir. What is the unit of specific heat capacity, all of you guys? Specific heat capacity. जूल के अगेन जूल केलविन नहीं है जूल पर केलविन पर ग्राम जूल केलविन इनवर्स ग्राम इनवर्स कौन है ये सपीहा कौन अलीना सब तो है रोल नंबर नाइनटीन ठीक है नॉट ओनली व्हाट विल बी द यूनिट ऑफ मोलर हीट कैपेसिटी जूल पर केल्विन पर मोल बाकी लोगों को नहीं समझ में आ रहा था ये 
जूल पर केल्विन पर मूल जूल पर केल्विन पर मूल नाउ सी नेक्स्ट वी हैव अनदर कीप योर माइक ऑन डोंट टर्न इट ऑफ दिस इज वन थिंग नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डू न्यूमेरिकल्स एंड देन यू विल अंडरस्टैंड द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग द यूनिट एंड व्हाट इट टेल्स अबाउट आल्सो डिड यू गाइस राइट दिस डाउन यस और नो प्लीज टेल मी नो सर वी कॉपी कीजिए कॉपी कीजिए कॉपी कीजिए दोस आर नॉट रिटन Na na, keep your mics on. Keep your mics on. Keep your mic on, all of you guys. Ali, abhi bhi abu hai. Aap kya room mein? Nahi sir. Aapko jab hum mic on karne bolte, aap kyun hi on kar rahe the mic? Ji, fir mic ban kar liya aapne. Ha, Ali, bataiye. हम बाहर कर देंगे भाई क्लास से दिमाग मेरा मत खराब कीजिए यार इस तरह से आई एम आस्किंग आई आस्क यू टू टर्न योर माइक ऑन आप माइक ऑन नहीं किया क्यों सर अब फोन पे बात कर रहे थे हमने आपको माइक ऑन करने के लिए कहा आपने माइक क्यों नहीं ऑन किया वो हम पूछ रहे हैं आपको हमने कहा था ना टर्न योर माइक ऑन इवन दो योर फादर इज टॉकिंग आपके आपके अबू की आवाज नहीं आएगी कहा था ना हमने still you did not turn your mic on why <coughs> i told that if there will be any noise i will ask you to turn it off also still you did not turn it on Raise your hand once you're done, guys. please raise your hand once you are done writing and please write quickly just waiting for alina chali see now this is one, uh, one heat capacity that two heat capacity that we have learned the another two more heat capacity is when the heat is measured at constant volume and constant pressure this is very important heat capacity so heat capacity or a particular process can be done at constant volume that is isochoric and at constant pressure what do we call that process tell me guys what do we call that pressure what what do we call that process in which the pressure is constant isobaric what is ha yaar you guys do not know kya bhai ab jaldi kyun jawab dete ho samajh nahi aata do bacche hain jo jo jawab denge baaki aise bas baithne aate hain sir you should be quick guys read kijiye notes ko taiyar rahiye 
अगर आपकी क्लास आज होने वाली है तो पुराना क्या हो आपको पता रहना चाहिए टीचर इज रेडी ऑल दो यू शुड बी रेडी इवन मोर देन द टीचर वाई बिकॉज वो पढ़ना तो आपको है I completely understand that teacher has a responsibility, but the greater responsibility lies on your shoulders because it is about your marks, your test, your exam, your future. ठीक है, please try to think about it. Be ready for the class. जो last class में जो पढ़ाया है उसको that's the least you can do. To reread whatever was done in the class and redo the problem, and that is why I mean. Um, if you do only the problems that I have given you, abhi to nahi bolenge because in eleventh standard every teacher is different and whatever question paper is coming for uh, Ali, it will be different for Sabia. Not right now. Even twelfth me, so I can guarantee it. He all the questions that I am all the questions in the board examination, you can score around say ninety percentage if you only do the question from like किसी भी अच्छे teacher का notes. You don't do, you don't have to do anything else. If you understand and can solve all the problems that the teacher has taught, that is enough. What's the other thing enough? Ah, for the mains, for the need, for you can have. You have to uh, build a bit more thought process, a bit more uh, depth in the understanding. But for board, it's good enough. And that's that's the only thing that I want you guys to do. Whatever problems I am doing in the class, redo them. Whatever I am teaching in the class, read them. Read the notes. Redo the problems. That's it. Try to develop an understanding of the subject. You may understand something in the class, and you will be confused about it in the evening. That that can happen, and that should happen also, because that shows that okay, fine, you are re-reading the notes at least. Now you have to slowly develop the thought process. Now you have to slowly develop. So if you remember chemical bonding, in that chemical bonding, when we were doing the topic of steric number hybridization and VSB and CPR theory. then you were the guys who were giving the example for each and every cases how was it possible process and i school mein to aisa nahi ho raha hoga ki aap log example de rahe ho school mein chemical bonding ho chuka hai how many of you are done with chemical bonding in the school sir i am done are you now you are done you did chemical bonding with me yes sir did you give the same like did you Learn chemical bonding, or did you give example on your own in school for each cases? Or yeah, then board members teacher ne bata diya tha. Is case ke liye ye example, is case ke liye ye example, is case ke liye ye example. What happened? Teacher told. Teacher told it na. Usi cheez ko to change karne ke liye aap yahan pe aaye na. That you should have some certain thought process. You should have certain understanding and depth about the subjects. Or oh, like. बोलने के लिए कहते हैं ये बात आप लोगों को मतलब पता नहीं क्या ही है जब इफ यू डोंट स्पीक अगर आप गलत जवाब नहीं दीजिएगा तो सही जवाब भी नहीं आएगा ठीक है गलत जवाब जो आता है ना बट हा इट शुड कम फ्रॉम अ थॉट इट शुड नॉट बी तुक्का नहीं मारने बैठ जाए बस ठीक है ना तो वो दैट्स दी ओनली थिंग दैट आई वॉन्ट टू डेवलप दैट यू थिंक अबाउट थिंग बार बार There are certain things on bar bar gathering. For example, constant value bar. In eleven, twelve standard, you will have a lot of constant. वहाँ पे भी यही बातें हैं. So that you understand how to define any constant. आपको फिर you are not. If you remember a formula, you know the definition of constant. फिर नहीं तो बट बैठ के सर इसका भी constant याद करना पड़ेगा, इसका भी constant याद करना पड़ेगा definition. सर इसका भी आ सकता है क्या board में? Yes. The definition of constants are important because they tell you some. ठीक है तो प्लीज ट्राई टू डेवलप हॉट प्रोसेस नाउ इन हीट कैपेसिटी वी आर गोइंग टू डू अ प्रोसेस इन कांस्टेंट वॉल्यूम देन कांस्टेंट वॉल्यूम एंड अनदर एट कांस्टेंट प्रेशर दिस इज सीवी Okay, the heat capacity that is measured in constant volume, it is known as C V. The heat capacity which is measured at constant pressure, it is known as C P. Now, we know that Q it is equal to C into delta T, and 
because it is at constant volume, I am writing it like this, QV. Now tell me QV it is equal to what from the last lecture? Heat at constant volume it is equal to what? Heat at constant volume it is equal to what? Please go through the notes of the last lecture. In isochoric process, heat is equal to what? In isochoric process, heat is equal to what? Alina, Jovita, Shaima, Chani, or Michael? Zor se boli zara. Change in the volume. Change in the volume. Constant volume can change volume class over. Tisa, Pikini, and Oats Matlab. It's directly proportional. Look at the notes and tell me directly in isochoric process. QV is equal to. Please look into your notes. Don't tell me randomly from here and there. Exactly, you should know where it is written. We will not tell you, but it is in the yesterday's class. Last class, though, yesterday's in the, from the last class. You have the notes and you even cannot tell me the answer. In isochoric process, heat is equal to. Yes, Shaima, correct. Very good, Shaima. Ek do hi bachche hain bas yahan pe to. Baaki to aap log time pass kar rahe ho, bhai. Hum sirf bata rahe hain aap log. If you are not reading the notes, no, koi fayda nahi. Even though this chapter is not done in your uh, school, it's not coming in the half yearly. I am not going to reteach the chapter. Please understand. Some of you, please. It is equal to delta u. And I think uh, Zainab, you have written this. Writing karam me, aapko delta v lag raha hoga, right? Sir, I don't make mistake. Zor se bol liye zara. I mistook him. Sabiya, aap kahin se dekh ke likh rahi hai. Delta u is equal to cv delta. I couldn't find the triangle, the delta ka triangle, I couldn't find it. That's why I took time. No, but whatever you have written, I have not taught that till now. Tabi likha me sabse pahli baar. Abhu ne padaya. Sorry. QP is equal to PP delta P. Now tell me, heat at constant pressure it is equal to what in isobaric process? Heat at constant pressure it is known as it is equal to what heat at this part. Heat at constant pressure is equal to uh, so, oh that is enthalpy by the way, Shaima. Delta H. H. Uh, H is enthalpy, na? Right, Shaima? Yes, sir. Keep your mic on all of you guys. Jobita Shaima Zainab. After mic off it. Please turn it on. Pop it is down. You have to make connections in thermodynamics, otherwise it will become very difficult. Whatever conclusions we have written in the last lecture, now that is very important. All of these conclusions that we have written, delta e, all of this is very important. Sara is very important. If they will come in the numericals, I have shown certain examples in the last lecture. They will come in the numericals and you will not even understand what to do. Alina, just waiting for you. Right next, relationship between CP and CV. Now, this is a derivation which is important. It can come in your uh, school examination. Your relationship.
बिटवीन सीपी एंड सीवी ध्यान सुनिएगा जरा वी नो दैट डेल्टा एच इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा यू प्लस डेल्टा पीवी now if i have only one mole of gas for one mole of gas see pv it is equal to nrt and if number of mole is equal to 1 i can say pv it is equal to rt okay fine zanab no problem pv is equal to rt so instead of pv i can write delta h is equal to delta u plus delta rt now since r is a constant since r it is a constant the r will not change and the only only change that can happen is in temperature is equal to delta t now once you plug in the values of delta h and delta u from the above equation the delta u it is equal to uh pv delta t and cp delta t and i can write something like this delta h clearly i can write heat capacity at constant pressure multiplied by delta t is equal to heat capacity at constant volume multiplied by delta t this equal sorry plus plus r into delta t now i can take delta t from uh, both the sides common and i can cancel it so i will get cp it is equal to cv plus r or i can get cp minus cv is equal to r that is the gas constant now this equation is important and this derivation is also very important so the delta s and delta u ki value humne kahan se plug in kiye upar se hai na so that is why agar aapko nahi pata that q this this relationship we never have kahi nahi hai ye relationship theek hai The relationship is between Q V and delta U. Copy this down. Raise your hand once you're done. Is everyone done? Waiting for Alina. Now, next topic is regarding the measurement of heat. How do we measure the heat? One thing we know that we can measure the. I mean, if we we have a relationship between temperature and heat. So I can measure the change in temperature, and if I know the heat capacity, then I can use any one of the formulas. For example, whether we are doing it in constant volume or constant temperature, we can use this formula in order to get the uh, heat capacity. That is C. Not heat capacity, rather the measurement of it, how much heat we have given. Right? Heat to measure. For example, now we have a formula. Now we need also certain device to correctly do the experiment and measure the correct increase in temperature. तो एक तो आपके पास वी द मेजरमेंट ऑफ हीट इट इज नोन एज कैलरी मेट्री एंड द डिवाइस व्हिच इज यूज्ड फॉर द मेजरमेंट ऑफ हीट इट इज नोन एज कैलोरी मीटर सो द टॉपिक इज मेजरमेंट ऑफ हीट दिस इज आल्सो क्वाइट इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इन न्यूमेरिकल्स दे विल बी यूजिंग दीस डिवाइसेस आपको पता होना चाहिए क्या हो रहा है दोनों के अंदर मेजरमेंट ऑफ हीट Now the first 
calorimeter that we need to learn is coffee cup calorimeter. इन कॉफी कप कैलोरीमीटर ज्यादा कुछ नहीं हो रहा होता लेकिन जस्ट टेक अ पिक फ्रॉम इंटरनेट The device is quite simple. The device is ah yeah, okay. It is a basic cup, styrofoam cup. Uh, this is a cup that is generally used to serve coffee in uh, what I can say in shops. Then a jo thoda. Uh, it's like paper and plastic at the same time. Now here we have here we have water and uh, let's suppose यहाँ पे this is the system ठीक है this is what this is the system they are saying है ना ये क्या है यहाँ पे this is the system and let us suppose some heat is getting evolved from the system कुछ burning हो रही है मान लेते हैं ना let's suppose something is burning here now whatever the heat is evolved will be distributed in the water and that what that heat that is evolved that is going to get distributed in the water will increase the temperature no problem sabiha it will increase the temperature can you turn your mic on sabiha uh alina batayegi alina aapko kuch awaaz aa rahi hai sabiha ki taraf se kuch awaaz aayi मेरी आवाज पता है जूम को आपकी आवाज पता है और वो बस वही आवाज आने देता है मेरे बगल में यहाँ पे कूलर चल रहा है उसकी आवाज आ रही है आप लोगों क्या नो राइट बट लेट मी शो यू माइक वॉज ऑन Or did you hear anything now? Like in between, cooler जैसी yes. आवाज आई है आप लोगों को अभी? Yes. Yes. है ना? That was when I kept my mic almost inside the cooler, just on where the fan is moving. ठीक है? I'm just one hand apart, but right now you cannot hear it. Here. निश्चिंत रहे When I say, turn your mic on, you can turn your mic on. जब जैसे बन सके हम खुद बोल देंगे तो बात ही कह रहे थे वॉटर विच नीड्स टू इंक्रीज इन टेम्परेचर एंड दैट इंक्रीज इन टेम्परेचर वी कैन मेजर वेरी इजिली थर्मोमीटर किसी घर में नहीं है दैट मेजरमेंट इज वेरी इजी नाउ एज यू लुक इन दिस्टम दिस पर्टिकुलर कंप्लीट सेटअप इट इज डन एट कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर ऑफ वन एट एटमोस्फियर we are not having the constant volume because if you can see that if the heat is too large and if water wants to expand it can expand so we have not kept the volume constant what we have done is we have kept the pressure constant that is of 1 atm so in this case this coffee cup calorimeter it measured q at constant temperature therefore it gives
idea about change in enthalpy. Okay, by the setup, can you see that it is not going to give you a accurate measurements? Like some of it cannot measure all the heat, it cannot measure the complete temperature change because some heat will be dissipated in the air also. Does it make sense, question of Yes, sir. Anna? So we will now it gives an idea about enthalpy change, the change in enthalpy, but you can wait a second. I will tell you guys. But wait a second. Then wait a second. But Hope you understand that this is not going to give you accurate measurement about enthalpy change. Just because it is measuring the heat at constant temperature, we tell that it gives an idea about enthalpy change. Okay. Copy this down, raise your hand once you're done. But agar kahi bhi aaja na, if we are using coffee cup calorimeter, then whatever heat is given in that. Okay, heat diya rahega, that is heat at constant pressure, it will be, you will take that as delta H, if it is given. Agar diya rahega, do hum log usko na, that it is accurate. Raise your hand. Ah, you need to draw. You can draw the everything. Na sab kuch bana lijiye. So hopefully you can see that you can understand that we need certain we need certain better methods for the measurement of heat. Everyone is done. Zainab just waiting for you. <coughs> right, next. Uh, we rarely use the coffee calorimeter. We use the next measurement device. That is known as bomb calorimeter. Bomb calorimeter, it measures. At constant volume. So whatever heat is given, it will be. It can also be shown as delta U. Right? So delta U diya hai, to samaj lije. Yeah, if it has given na, that this much amount of heat was measured at bomb calorimeter, that means it has given you delta U. Right? Bomb calorimeter matlab kya hoonge delta U. Now, how the bomb calorimeter looks like, please see, then you can start writing. Again, this is a simple device. The only thing you will see a difference is that it is having a diabetic wall. So in a diabetic wall, the heat is not transferred to the surrounding. And then surrounding in the sense, we have going to change the system. For example, this is the system. And let us suppose something 
happening in the sense which is dissipating heat and kya kar raha hai heat bar kar raha hai now whatever heat is given out will only go to the water that is present here theek hai and here we also have a stirrer stirrer it is going to stir the water and it is going to uniformly distribute distribute the heat that is given out from the system and that is why there will be accurate measurement of the change temperature change whatever heat is given out of the system is going to get transferred completely to the water and can be measured in the form of change in temperature and that is why this bomb calorimeter it is a better method for the measurement of heat okay so chaliye please copy this down draw it iske baad sawal karenge that questions are important आप बात कर रहे हैं किसी से माई कौन करके बात किसी को दिक्कत नहीं है लेकिन माइक ऑफ करके रहना जवाब नहीं देना इन सब चीजों में कुछ साथ है सॉरी सर अरे आप क्यों सॉरी बोल रही हैं आपको तो माइक ऑन था ना आप ये बोल रहे हैं Sir, what does QCL mean? What is QCL? QCL, QCal. Uh, this heat at Q का मतलब heat है. CL को छोड़ दिए. It is just representing calorie meters. This is representing Q. बस Q लिख लीजिए काफी है. Also, by the way, uh, please check NCERT diagram and read working of bomb calorimeter. ठीक है थर्मोडाइनमिक्स में bomb calorimeter जो है उसको रीड कर लीजिएगा अब आ रहे हैं हम लोग रियल केमिस्ट्री के अंदर है ना मतलब चीजें होती हैं हाउ डू वी मेजर थिंग सारी चीजें हाउ डू वी नो व्हाट इज द बॉन्ड स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ सी एच फोर हाउ डू वी नो द बॉन्ड लाइक ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स ना उसकी तरफ हम लोग बढ़ने वाले हैं कितनी छोटी छोटी चीज हमने पढ़ी है एंड देन यू कैन टॉक अबाउट मॉलिक्यूल्स मॉलिक्यूल्स दैट यू कैनॉट इवन सी बट यू कैन टॉक ओके फाइन द बॉन्ड दिस मच द बॉन्ड लाइक बॉन्ड ऑर्डर विल बी दिस मच According to the bond strength and everything. फिर सवाल लिखेगा सवाल बड़ा है but don't don't have to worry it worry about the question ठीक है सवाल लिखिए जरा और एक फिर done writing इस चलो भी चल नहीं is anyone still writing is anyone yes, still sir. writing yes sir no 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 sir no sir Zainab done Zainab 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 done Zainab आप थोड़ा तेज बोला करें भाई आपकी आवाज बिल्कुल ही नहीं आती है Do you have a headphone, Zainab? Yes, sir. अच्छा आप आपको throat में pain है sorry sorry I forgot about it. आप ठीक है ना खांसी हो रही है आपको? Yes, yes. अच्छा ठीक है ठीक है. आराम से लिखेगा सवाल. One gram of graphite is burned. इन बॉम्ब कैलोरी मीटर दिस वॉज योर ने हाउ ओल्ड इज ही टू पॉइंट फोर इयर्स सर टू पॉइंट फोर इयर्स 
अच्छा ही मस्ट बी फन राइट नाउ है ना अभी थोड़ा थोड़ा कुछ कुछ बोलना सीखा होगा राइट नहीं सर बोल रहा नहीं है कुछ भी बस थोड़ा कुछ दो तीन वर्ड्स बोलता है उतना ही कुछ नहीं बोल रहा है अच्छा हाँ लड़के थोड़ा देर से बोलते हैं लड़कियां हाँ रहती बस है तो बहुत जल्दी बोलना चाहिए बस कलर बोलने आता है और कुछ नहीं होता डू यू हैव समवन ऑफ द सेम एज बट अ गर्ल इन योर फैमिली और सर है बदन लाइक वो उमर मेरा नेफ्यू ही लाइक वेरी एग्रेसिव ही लाइक लड़की है तो भी मारता है उनको इसलिए दे पेरेंट्स डोंट सेंड देयर किड्स ऑक्सीजन even my brother uh, he started speaking in very late around like 3.5 years i would say generally uh, kids they start speaking around 2.5 or 2.5 ke beech mein to bilkul bolna chalu karte the but my brother he started speaking like quite late 3.5 years in excess of oxygen at 298 kelvin and one atmospheric pressure Uh, one atmospheric pressure according to the equation carbon plus o2 gas gas gives co2 gas This carbon is solid and basically this carbon is graphite and not diamond. During the reaction, the temperature change or the temperature rises from two ninety eight Kelvin. To two ninety nine Kelvin. If heat capacity of bomb calorimeter is twenty point seven kilojoule per Kelvin. what is the enthalpy change for the above reaction at 298 kelvin and 1 atm pressure Raise your hand once you're done writing the question. हम आपसे ये बताएं एक बात इस सवाल को तो आप कम से कम तीन चार बार कीजिए दिस क्वेश्चन इज गोइंग टू टीच यू अबाउट अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स Alina and Zena waiting for you guys.
Alina, just waiting for you. Now, at least what we can do is we can write whatever number is given, whatever information we are going to get from the question. Just here, we are putting one gram of graphite. I am getting some information that mass is equal to one gram. Is burnt in bomb calorie meter. Is burnt in bomb calorie meter. So if I have bomb calorie meter, that means I have delta U value, or I can say I have Q at constant volume. Does it make sense? Yes or no? Please tell me. Yes. Sir. At two ninety eight Kelvin, I have temperature is equal to two ninety eight Kelvin. And I have pressure; it is equal to one atmospheric pressure. That is one atm. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. it is saying the graphite is burning according to this particular equation. Mm -hmm. During the reaction, the temperature rises from two ninety eight Kelvin to two ninety nine Kelvin, and then I can say that delta T, if wherever we are going to use, will be equal to one Kelvin. If heat capacity of bomb calorimeter is इतना किलोजूल पर केल्विन, that means I can say that C of bomb calorimeter is given. C will be equal to how much? Uh, twenty point seven into thousand because we need to take the SI units joules per केल्विन. Joules per केल्विन. They are asking what is the enthalpy change? That means they are asking delta H. Wait a second, guys. They are asking delta H. Now here we have almost all the things present. So we have Q V and we have delta T and we have C. Hena? So Q V can be calculated, right? Q V will be equal to C at constant volume into delta T. Because this C is of bomb calorimeter and bomb calorimeter measures things at constant volume, I can say that this is what C V basically. Okay, yeah. C V. C V is equal to twenty point seven into thousand joules per Kelvin multiplied by one Kelvin. That is the change in temperature. So Kelvin inverse and Kelvin inverse cancel each other, and you will get the Q V as two zero seven zero zero. Joules. Does this make sense till here? Yes or no? Please tell me. Yeah, this is possible. Am I clear? Am I clear? Now, tell me. Okay. Now, this is the heat given when one gram of graphite is burned. But is it asking us the enthalpy change? When one gram of graphite is burned, tell me, guys. सवाल हमसे क्या पूछा गया? Are they asking calculate the enthalpy change because we have got this in QP, ना? इसको हम QP में ले जाएंगे. I can convert this into QP very quickly. ठीक है? तो QP में बहुत आसानी से convert किया जा सकता है. But tell me, are they asking? ये बताइए आप. Are they asking the amount of enthalpy change? When one gram of graphite is burned, या कुछ और पूछ रहे हैं वो क्या ख्याल है आपका सिंपल है ना क्यू बी को हम आगे आगे ऐसे कर सकते हैं ना क्यू बी इट इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा यू एंड वी नो दैट डेल्टा यू इट इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा एच प्लस डेल्टा एन जी आर टी आई कैन यूज दिस इक्वेशन वी हैव टेम्परेचर वी हैव द चेंज इन द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ गैसेज वी हैव द डेल्टा यू एंड आई कैन गेट द डेल्टा एच बट आर दे आस्किंग द डेल्टा एच वॉट डू वाइस थिंग आप लोगों को पहला स्टेप क्या रहता ऐसे ही कर लेते है ना वन ग्राम कहीं आप लोग निकाल लेते तो अभी तो वो भी नहीं कर पाएंगे आप लोग आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड बट यहाँ पे सुनिएगा जरा दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट व्हाट इज दी चेंज फॉर दी अब रिएक्शन एंड हाउ डू वी रीड द रिएक्शन डू आई रीड द रिएक्शन लाइक दिस वन ग्राम ऑफ कार्बन रिएक्ट विथ वन ग्राम ऑफ ऑक्सीजन टू गिव वन ग्राम ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड बताइए कैन यू रीड द रिएक्शन लाइक दिस बोलो 
नहीं पता क्या क्या हम क्या बातें हम कर रहे हैं समझ में नहीं आ रहा क्या आप लोग को हाउ कैन वी रीड द रिएक्शन टेल मी कैन समी रीड दिस रिएक्शन हाउ बी हाउ डू वी रीड इट क्वालिटेटिवली क्वालिटेटिवली नहीं क्वान्टिटेटिवली हाउ डू वी रीड सोशियोमेट्री में पढ़ाया था हमने इन द फर्स्ट चैप्टर कैसे रीड कर सकते हैं सिक्वेशन को बोलो वेरी गुड वन मोल ऑफ कार्बन रियक्ट विथ वन मोल ऑफ ऑक्सीजन टू गिव वन मोल ऑफ सीओ टू तो वेन दे स्टे टेल मी द एंथेल्पी चेंज फॉर दी अब रियक्शन देर आस्किंग द एंथेल्पी चेंज वेन वन मोल ऑफ कार्बन रियक्ट विथ वन मोल ऑफ ऑक्सीजन राइट नो आई हैव द एंथेल्पी नॉट एंथेल्पी चेंज राधर द इंटरनल एनर्जी चेंज वेन वन ग्राम ऑफ ग्रेफाइट इज बर्न वेन वन ग्राम ऑफ ग्रेफाइट इज बर्न वॉट आई विल डू फॉर One mole of graphite for one mole of graphite, I will say that Q V will be equal to twelve times two zero seven double zero. Because if one gram, if burning one gram of graphite gives this many joules, then burning one mole that is equal to twelve gram, I will get twelve into this much joules of heat. Does it make sense? Yes or no? Please tell me. बात समझ में आ रही yes. है यस सर ठीक है नाउ वंस आई हैव गॉट फॉर वन मोल ऑफ ग्राफाइट आई कैन कन्वर्ट द क्यू वी और आई कैन से दैट डेल्टा यू क्यू वी इज व्हाट इट इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा यू विद दिस इक्वेशन इफ यू डोंट रिमेंबर आगे सवाल कहां से होगा इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई दिस यू विल गेट दिस एज अच्छा वन मोर थिंग आई कैन से इज दैट इन दिस केस द हीट इज रिलीज्ड and if the heat is released i can say that it is going to be negative delta u kya ho jayega negative ho jayega na aaya na bolo does it make sense if it heat if the heat is released delta u will be negative make sense yes or no please tell me guys yes you know so i am writing a negative sign 2 for double zero uh joules and this will be joules per mole because one mole of graphite is giving me this many uh, joule And now I have delta H. It is equal to delta U plus delta N G R T. Delta U it is equal to minus two four eight four double zero plus delta N G. If we talk about it, then delta N G will be equal to how much zero? Because in the reactant, if I calculate the delta N G. Then in the product I have one mole of gas. In the reactant also I have one mole of gas. So delta N G will be equal to zero. Does it make sense? Yes or no? Please tell me. Aya na. So delta N G R T. So delta N G it is equal to zero. So this whole thing will be equal to zero. And the delta H in this case will be equal to delta U. That is minus two four eight four double zero joules per mole. जूल्स हमने केस में लिख दिया जूल्स पर मोल आई कैन आल्सो राइट दिस एज माइनस टू फोर एट पॉइंट फोर किलो जूल पर मोल ठीक है इतना बड़ा सवाल लेकिन आई होप यू कैन सी द सिंप्लिसिटी ऑफ द क्वेश्चन एंड द थॉटफुलनेस आपको सोचना पड़ेगा इसके बारे में ना कि वन ग्राम का निकाला है आपने फिर उसको किसमें कन्वर्ट करना है Into one mole. What the question is asking? वो नहीं बोल रहा है कि one mole का निकालो, but it is saying for the above reaction. और जैसे उसने कहा for the above reaction, we have to understand that it is asking for one mole. क्योंकि we can read the reaction in terms of moles. We cannot read the reaction in terms of gram. अब देखिए कितनी ये चीज है कि we burnt one gram of graphite and then we can determine the enthalpy change. You can measure the enthalpy change of the system. Raise your hand once you are done. We will do one more question and then we will end the class. The other question is going to be a shorter one.
can i get a yes sir if you understood the question अब हम आपको बताएंगे ना कितनी जल्दी आप इस सवाल को कर सकते हैं कितनी जल्दी आप कर सकते हैं बताते हैं ऑल ऑफ यू रिटर्न कैन आई हैव योर माइक्स ऑन प्लीज प्लीज थोड़ा जल्दी माइक ऑन करेंगे टेम्परेचरवे How much heat do I need to give? कितना heat देना पड़ेगा? For each in each Kelvin increase in temperature, unit से देख के बताओ ना कितना कितना heat देना पड़ेगा? अरे भाई if I say one meter per second, तो एक second में कितना meter चलेंगे हम? How much if I say चलो eleven meter per second? Then for one second, how much meter will I move in one second? तो बोलो भाई. Eleven meters. Similarly, for if I want to increase the temperature by one Kelvin, so how much heat will I need to give? Look, look at the unit for warm calorimeter. I am asking. Is it for warm calorimeter? Hmm. Twenty point seven kilojoule. Does it make sense? Others, bolo. If I want to increase the temperature by one Kelvin, then how much heat do I need to give? Bolo. Arey say, yar. Twenty point seven. Twenty point seven kilojoule per Kelvin. Not per Kelvin. Then twenty point seven kilojoule hi ho jayega na. Is units ko understand karna kitna important hai, bhai. If I am saying eleven meter per second, that means if I want to spend one second, then I have to move how many meters? Eleven meters. Eleven meter per second. Then I move. करना पड़ेगा. ठीक है. Understand the units for each second. Eleven meter. For each Kelvin. For each Kelvin, how many kilojoule? Twenty point seven. Twenty point seven seven. Twenty point seven seven. ठीक है. अब बताइए समथिंग वी आर डूइंग आई डोंट वांट टू नो व्हाट वी आर डूइंग एंड इट इज रेजिंग द टेम्परेचर हाउ मच हाउ मच टेम्परेचर इज हाउ मच टेम्परेचर इज राइजिंग इन द प्रोसेस व्हाट एवर प्रोसेस वी आर डूइंग द टेम्परेचर राइजेस फ्रॉम बोलो हाउ मेनी केल्विन इट इज राइजिंग बोलो ना यार वन केल्विन वन केल्विन दैट मींस हाउ मच हीट वाज गिवन इन दैट इन दैट पर्टिकुलर प्रोसेस 20.7 yes or no does it make sense 20.7 kilo to the high number yes sir yes, and they are asking for the enthalpy change in the reaction enthalpy change in the reaction enthalpy change in the reaction for 1 gram i have this much heat for 1 mole i will be have into 12 वन मोल ऑफ कार्बन विल हैव व्हाट ट्वेल्व ग्राम्स ट्वेल्व करना मल्टीप्लाई करेगा मल्टीप्लाई और बस यही आंसर आप इसको मल्टीप्लाई कीजिए यही वैल्यू आ जाएगी सेम वैल्यू आएगी दस ना ठीक है चलिए एक बार इसको दो तीन एक बार के दो तीन बार आपको करना पड़ेगा ये सवाल देन यू विल अंडरस्टैंड दी कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी कहाँ कहाँ पे आप फंस सकते हैं दो इट वंस देन लाइक वेट फॉर आवर्स कुछ और पढ़ लीजिए बायो पढ़ लिया कीजिए ना बायो पढ़ लिया कीजिए मैथ करने के बाद बायो पढ़िए देन टेस्ट योर सेल्फ ऑन दैट मैथ अगेन एक और सवाल कर लीजिए कैलकुलेट यूनिट से होंगे सवाल ये वाले भी है ना दिस इज आल्सो गोइंग टू बी इन इन कैलकुलेट द नंबर ऑफ किलो जूल ऑफ की
necessary to raise the temperature of 60 gram aluminium from 35 degree celsius to 55 degree celsius the molar heat capacity of aluminium it is equal to 24 joule per mole per kelvin ठीक है कैसे करते हैं हम सवाल को पी एम मोलर हिट वाज ट्वेंटी फोर जूल्स पर मोल पर केल्विन इसका मतलब क्या है टू इंक्रीज टू इंक्रीज टेम्परेचर बाई वन केल्विन फॉर वन मोल ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम वी नीड ट्वेंटी फोर जूल है अंडरस्टैंड द यूनिट आया ना बोलो कैन यू गाइस अंडरस्टैंड द यूनिट यस यस सर तो इंक्रीज टेम्परेचर बाय वन केल्विन फॉर टू मोल ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम वी नीड एक मोल के लिए एक केल्विन एक मोल के लिए वी नीड हाउ मच सो फॉर टू मोल इट विल बी हाउ मच ठीक है नो इसी को ध्यान में रखिएगा पहले वाले स्टेटमेंट से टू इंक्रीज टेम्परेचर बाय टू केल्विन फॉर वन मोल ऑफ एल्यूमिन वी नीड If I want to increase the temperature of one mole by one Kelvin, I need twenty-four joule. But if I want to increase two Kelvin for one mole, I again need forty-eight joule. Haiya na bolo. Yes. Makes sense, haiya na. But agar maan lete to increase temperature by two Kelvin for two mole of aluminium, we need twenty-four into four. Karna pa jaye haiya. Does it make sense? Yes or no? Please tell me, guys. Yes, sir. Now, अब क्या करना है बस यहाँ एक के लिए आपको पता है वॉट इज द डेल्टा टी हिट इज डेल्टा टी ट्वेंटी डिग्री एक चीज समझिए जरा ये यहाँ से ई क्यों आ जाता है ट्वेंटी फोर फोर जो हमने लिखा था इट वॉज टू इंटू टू एक जो टू टू था दिस वॉज फॉर मोल्स एंड दी अदर टू इट वॉज फॉर डेल्टा टी डज इट मेक सेंस आया ना ऐसे ही जो था यहाँ पे बोलो Yes. In this case, delta T is equal to twenty. It doesn't matter whether it is Kelvin or uh, degree Celsius. In the terms of delta T, I have already explained it. Now, sixty grams, you will get a mole. So I will write two increase temperature by twenty Kelvin for sixty upon twenty-seven. That will be the mole given mass by molar mass. Mole of aluminium we need. 24 का 24 मोल के लिए आई वुड राइट 60 अपॉन 27 मल्टीप्लाइड बाय 20 थ्री हाउ मच सिक्स जा एंड थ्री नाइन जा करेक्ट है एंड 1.5 से ये दोनों मल्टीप्लाई हो जाते हैं किसी को पता है हाउ मच वट इज मल्टीप्लेक्शन 
Twelve eights are how much? Ninety six. Ninety six plus ten will be equal to how much? Hundred and six. How much? One zero six. है ना? Yes. ये multiplication नहीं आता होगा ना आप लोगों को? इस तरह से multiplication होगा आप लोगों ने right? So this much joules. आगे answer. It will be equal to one zero six point eight kilo joule. You can write because they were asking how many kilo. ठीक है? So form. You see that I we did not use any formula. Simple logic ना? हाँ या ना बताइए. Yes. और वो भी कैसा लॉजिक वो भी लॉजिक यूनिटरी मेथड आपको अगर एक चॉकलेट चाहिए तो फिर क्या मिलेगा चौबीस 